Bonjour mes amis, part two of my watch collection video and this time we're going to talk about only the Seiko. Yes, uh, as I t told you in the first part of the watch collection video, uh, this was my only Seiko for four years. Uh, it comes on a great, uh, very comfortable uh, stainless steel bracelet and now I've put it on, uh, on NATO's to just change the look and uh, in, it was really fun and I was in, inspired by uh, the videos of uh, TGV and his Urban Gentry channel. Big shout out to him again. And uh, this watch served me well. It works with the suit, it worked with the, the jeans. And as you can see, it's quite beat up. It's been working on the same battery, it's a quartz, uh, for all that time. And uh, it's always been on time. But now I've caught the uh, automatic watch bug. And um, there are so many, so many great Seikos you can get. It's great bang for, for the buck. And I'm trying to remember which one I got first. And I think it was uh, this one, the uh, Alpinist, which I've had on a different uh, variety of, uh, of straps. It comes on an awful brown uh, sort of leather, uh, shitty leather uh, strap, uh, which everybody swaps out uh, first chance they get. And uh, this one looks great with the uh, Champagne NATO. It looks great. Uh, I have a... I think it's a, a British... Uh, breathing RAF uh, NATO. Looks great as well. And uh, now I've decided to change it up. And um, because the bezel, the inner bezel with... Um, which you use to uh, calculate your north south uh, you know, positions um, because it's black with some red accents i've decided to try this uh, nice rubber strap which i get from uh, on ebay from taiwan and it's really changed the look of the wash totally uh, everybody's rushing to put green straps and brown straps uh, with this and it just makes me want to vomit uh, I think some guys don't understand why I put this black one, but look at it. It's a totally different look uh, given to this watch. So that's another watch tip for you. Uh, do try different straps and uh, don't be afraid to try something different. This watch has been my uh, weekend wearer for the past few months. And uh, it's just great, you know, uh, it has a decent loom. Um, good looks. And you can make it work with a suit as well, but uh, it's really more at home for the, the weekend and when, when you go hike, because uh, as the name indicates, it's the Alpinist, it's made for that. It's a reliable 6R15 movement, 21,600 beats per hour. And, yeah, slight stutter, but, uh, but it's a good movement. Um, you'll find it in many of these watches here. And uh, yeah, usually they run around the accuracy, I would say, plus minus five seconds uh, per day, which is which is very good. Um, obviously, compared to the uh, Omega Coaxial, uh, the accuracy is going to change over time, and it's going to vary depending on what you do with the watch. Uh, Seiko is quite cagey about um, the the movement, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a lot of a lot better than what people assume it to be. You know, it's certainly a sturdy movement. Um, after this watch, I had to get the Saab 033, which I could buy here in Hong Kong from an eBay seller. Uh, probably the best, at the best price uh, in the world. It's 300 bucks. And uh, I loved it so much that I got the uh, cream version as well. And it's so understated, but at the same time, there's so many nice nice little details the sign crown i love the action of the the crown it is a uh, it's very smooth very easy to to wind it's very easy to set the time i love every little detail about it you can see for yourself the applied markers the let's check it to get it going the uh needle uh seconds hand and i like that it has loom so even uh, at night you know often we need to watch to see the time at night so uh, it's nice to have a, a little bit of uh, of loom on there although it's a pretty 
interesting watch. But actually this watch, if you only have 300 bucks, just buy this watch. You have a great movement, you have a beautiful watch. It, ha it looks, frankly, it looks exactly like the Rolex, uh, <laughs> like the Rolex uh, date, is it? The, or the, the, the date just, I don't know. Uh, or the uh, Grand Seiko, there's a Grand Seiko that looks exactly like this. It's a 38 millimeter, so it will work on most wrists, even the, the thinnest of wrists. Uh, I really like the um, the brushed uh, stainless steel uh, bracelet. Some people don't like it and swap it. I don't understand why you would. Uh, this one fits uh, amazing. When you have it on the wrist, you just you feel great. I mean, you feel like you you got something uh, that's just right. You know, it, uh, it's going to suit mo most people. There's a nice case shape, good good clasp. Um, there's nothing wrong you can find about this watch. There's just nothing wrong. If it, if the 6 or 15 movement runs well in it, uh, this one used to run exactly on time for weeks. It was the, it was a freak of nature. Uh, now I think it's running slightly slow. Um, if you find a, if you get a good one, then you're, you're really set for life. You know, 300 bucks and uh, you have, you have a classic look, and uh, in cream it works fantastic as well. Okay, maybe I'll overextend myself again buying this cream, but um, yeah, it's so cool. While I'm next to the this one, I have to tell tell you about this watch. Look at this. This is the Baby Grand Snowflake, as it's known, the Sarx 55, 055, uh, titanium ultralight. When you have it on, and look at this beautiful bracelet, the detail, the polishing detail. One of the best bracelets you'll ever find on any watch. Any brand, I don't care what brand. Look at the polishing of the titanium, which is hard to do, and that's what Seiko is so famous for. Um, is just this incredible uh, case work, even on titanium. And then you have the dial, which is like a frosty, frosted dial. I call it uh, Frosty the Snowflake. Uh, it's hard to capture on this. Um, let me try to adjust here the camera. Uh, you can you can see many videos now about this uh, this watch. And uh, when you walk around with the watch, you just keep on staring at it because the it catches the light in so many different ways. And the same thing for the applied markers, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, it costs near a thousand bucks, but it is totally worth it. Once you wear a titanium watch. Oh my God, you just don't want to wear anything else, you know. Since we're busy talking titanium, let's dive into the divers. And uh, this is the top of the heap to me, the Seiko Shogun. I should, I should, I should say Shogun, this is how you would say in Japan. To, to me, this is perfection in every way. Titanium, so it's light. It's, and it looks like a big watch, but on the wrist, it wears fantastic. And um, it is the dial is the most reminiscent to um, Rolex Submariner, and I wanted to get a, something like that, but I wanted something different. And look at the side here, the the beautiful profile of this watch, sign crown, um, good bezel action. The, I like the knurling on the bezel. I love the the looks of the. The bracelets it's, it's got a sort of a, a transformer kind of a, kind of look and it really works well with the aesthetic of the, the watch um, it's, it's got a beautiful polished detail here on the side uh, you can see it here and um, it's part of the prospects range it runs the 6r15 movement again uh, I don't know if it's higher grade of, uh, of the movement maybe it is uh, I think Seiko should do a little bit more for the, once you pass the $500 range, Seiko should put something a bit better than 6 or 15 or at least regulate it, decorate it, uh, just tell you something about it, you know, because for all I know is this is very same on, in that one as it is in that one, $300, $1,000, well, no, yeah, I paid less than 900 but uh, you know what I mean. I love the hands. I love the second hand. I think the styling on these hands uh, are the very best. Uh, the um, 
the hour hand as well. I love this uh, this arrow with the with the line in the middle. Um, yeah, this could be your only watch. If you if you have a thousand bucks to put in one watch, uh, and you want something very sporty that uh, also has a bit of the Rolex look, uh, get this one. Um, prior to that one, I bought this gorgeous piece. Yeah, now I've put it on an aftermarket bracelet. It's the same kind of bracelet that you have uh, on uh, on this Alpinist. And uh, it has brought it to a next level because the blue, it ties in with the sunburst blue of the dial. The bezel is an amazing, pff, I don't know, emerald, blue-green color. It's the, the best case shape of any Seiko diver. This one is the inspired by um, is inspired by the 62 mass, the first Seiko diver from 65. They could have made it look a little bit more, I mean, put rectangular, rectangular um, applied markers all around, but um, but it looks great. I think the, the hands here are not that good. Uh, the black details in the middle are a bit, uh, a bit awkward. Um, and the date window in white, yeah, I don't know, maybe it could have been black. Uh, the crown is not signed. There's little details on the, the dial and on the watch that probably will be improved in the next version of it, but it's still a stunning, stunning watch. It's quite big and it's quite uh, heavy. So do consider the weight as well uh, when you choose a watch. Uh, if you try titanium, I mean, after after titanium, this watch will feel extremely heavy on your on your wrist. Uh, it's like doing uh, curls. When you, when you wear it, and especially the uh, black version, which comes on the uh, metal bracelets. Oh my God, that one was horribly heavy. Uh, I just couldn't go through with it. And especially, um, and anyway, there was a big problem with it. The quality control was terrible. The applied markers were not lined up at all with the, with the um, chaptering. Several of them were totally misaligned. So that's another tip for you with the Seikos. You, if you can, uh, try them in person or at least uh, make sure that you can return the watch uh, because they 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 might be problems uh, especially with the international versions uh, of the watch this is a, a jdm this is a japanese release this is an international release but this one everything is lined up and it's gorgeous and uh, i absolutely love it uh, it doesn't have a nickname uh, this one is the spb053 AKA SBDC053 on the uh, Japanese market. And uh, wow, it's just a stunning blue. And before that one, my favorite uh, Seiko diver was uh, this one, and I still absolutely love it. Uh, the Samurai. Uh, actually, for the story, while I was uh, getting ready to buy this one, I went to Japan in early August, and that's when this one, this one had, ju had just been released and I see that and I, think, I, thought, I thought it was stunning but it was twice the price I didn't understand why, okay I could see it was a better movement 6R15, this one is the 4R35 um, but uh, I still wanted this one I love the waffle dial, I love the, the hands, the hour hands and the minute hands and uh, the seconds hands with the, the red detail I think these are perfection as well and this one has the rectangle uh, markers here in between. You know, why can't they put these two there, you know? I mean, uh, well, what's so hard, Seiko? I love everything about this watch. The styling is amazing. Look at the case. There is no watch in the world with a, a case like this one. Uh, and I love the... Uh, the crown guards here the crown is amazing it's uh, it's so tooly it's big and uh it's very easy uh it's actually it's better than the 4 4 r 15 you know this one runs the 4 4 r 35 it's better than the 6 r 15 the action is fantastic it's butter smooth barely any resistance and uh, pushing it back in is very easy unlike the eta 2824 which sometimes feels a bit clunky um, got a nice detail in the back, the Kanagawa, Kanagawa wave, I think. 
good water resistance, 200 meter. This is a professional tool and uh, the strap that comes with is, is very nice. Actually, there's an up upgrade uh, to the strap when you buy uh, this one. This one has a softer one, but this one does the job and I might put it on mesh or try something, another option. But I love this watch. I even wear it with a suit sometimes, but if I have a blue shirt and a red tie, for example, it uh, it's just stunning. It's quite a quite a hefty watch. Uh, it's not a girly watch, and it has and that's what Seiko is so great. They have so many great designs, you know. Omega and uh, Rolex can't do things like that, you know. Seiko does, you know. If every few months they come up with a with a new winning design you know that's that's why we love uh, Seiko I think uh, it's affordable and it's sturdy and uh, it, it looks it looks the business it looks original uh, well since we're talking about divers of course the uh, Seiko SKX I have it here on again one of these uh, rubber straps this one with the orange stitching to tie up with the uh, the marking on the, the dial this is the Japanese version so it's slightly more rare than the, the version that you used to see. So there's a bit more, there's 21 jewels marked and it's made in Japan written on it. I thought, you know, for the 20 bucks difference, I might as well get the, the, the Japanese one. Very original uh, look. I've just ordered the, um, I love the case, uh, the case work here and the, the crown, uh, the crown guard. It's a very cool watch. It uh, has its own style. And uh, this one is, uh, unlike all the other watches, this one cannot be, uh, you can't manually wind it and uh, you can't hack it. Although you can, if you just uh, put some resistance to the crown in the other direction, you can uh, stop the seconds to uh, adjust it perfectly. And um, very cool little watch. It stands very tall, you know. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit, um, it's not very big but um on a, on a bracelet like this as you can see if the watch just just stands very tall it doesn't tie in as well with the wrist as if you had a bracelet so it works well with the nato and i've just ordered the jubilee bracelet uh, i think that's going to be a much better look for for this watch than um, than putting it uh, on this um, rubber strap but very cool little watch if you have just 200 bucks well if, why would you why would you bother with something else you know there's nothing nothing better so if you just have 200 bucks buy this if you have 200, 200 300 bucks buy that if you have a thousand bucks buy this boom that's my advice for today now let's uh let's pick up this one this one actually i'm gonna sell it soon because i have too many watches and i don't wear it uh, that much uh, but it's a lovely uh flieger type uh watch all the, the numerals uh, here, uh, the hour markers are, are loomed, so it's a different kind of look at night. And I like that. I love the seconds hand with the, the red pip, uh, the, the red detail on it, the red paintwork. Uh, it has a sliding uh, bezel. This one is a bezel for calculations. Very useful, you can do divisions, multiplications, and uh, that's one thing you can consider when you buy a watch, uh, if you if you want to use that as well. And you can convert uh, miles to kilometers and uh, weights and, uh, and whatnot, which is quite useful for me in Hong Kong because, you know, um, I use the metric system in my head, but uh, here everything, a lot of things here are in uh, feet and uh, square feet and whatnot. And then I've put this, put this watch it comes on a pretty shitty bracelet, as usual, uh, leather bracelet, and I've put it uh, on a second-hand, uh, sorry, an aftermarket Hirsch uh, racing type uh, leather uh, strap, and it's just gorgeous, you know. Okay, it has nothing to do with the uh, Flieger uh, inspiration of the watch, but uh, I think it looks cool. And uh, yeah, it's mint, and I'm uh, I'm probably gonna sell this one because I don't get to wear it as much. I kind of tend to wear a diver on the Friday, on casual Friday, and on the weekend. Uh, I don't want to really uh, damage it playing with the kids because it has a lot of uh, polished uh, details. And uh, I bought it brand new at, at my local Seiko. Uh, you know, just an impulse purchase. 
I like it, it's a gorgeous watch, but uh, it's a bit too big for me. Uh, I think it's what, maybe 44 millimeter or something like that. Uh, this one is too big for me. So that's my uh, other tip here. You know, you gotta wear something that's suitable for your for your wrist. And I think with 70, 17 centimeter of circumference, this is just a bit uh, a bit too big. Now let's see. We've talked about uh, all this, all this. Yeah, let's move on to the two quartz uh, flight masters. This is a bit of a cult watch. And uh, when they're out of stock, uh, the prices rise. Uh, you know, it's like a 150 bucks watch, and then you know, sometimes you find it for 220 uh, brand new. I got this brand new, actually, I got two of them, and I have one for sale. Uh, just saying, and um, and uh, this, this is the one I, that I wear uh, occasionally, it's still uh, in mint condition. And a fantastic look, you know, you wear you have that, it kind of really looks like a brightling, right. Um, screw down uh, yeah, pushers, so it has an amazing 200 meter uh, water resistance. You have the, the sliding bezel for the calculations, uh, great chronometer, and uh, well, it's a quad, so it's always on time, and uh, and uh, it will it's gonna work for years, you know, without having to to worry about it. It looks great on the NATO. I have this. Uh, it has a uh, the annoying 21 millimeter lug width, but I found a 21 millimeter uh, NATO. Actually, I have two or three NATOs of 21 millimeter for it, so it looks great on it. It's a great looking watch. Um, I might eventually give this one to to my son or to my nephew. And uh, before I got, I found this one. Uh, I got the uh, the bling bling uh, version, the the gold and black, which is really cool, and it comes with the the gold bracelet. Which is a lot of fun too, and I've got this uh, aftermarket uh, leather leather bracelet. Cool little watch. Now at the back you can see the uh, they just homages. Let me just grab one. Uh, I've made a video for about those watches, so just look look at that video for the details on all those three. My favorite, of course, is the two tone with the uh, silver dial, and uh, this is the all silver. Uh, version. Uh, it still has all the stickers and everything. Uh, it's brand new, uh, which is an amazing, an amazing find. And uh, please watch the other video to uh, hear about the the story. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous little watch. It's a fun watch, you know. Yeah, it's a copy of the Rolex. They just, but uh, you know, Seiko has so many of their own uh, designs that uh, you're not gonna get mad about it. You know, that's not uh, all they do. Uh, this is just uh, incredible execution from a Seiko 5. Seiko 5 is a great brand, you know. Um, if you just have a hundred bucks to spend on a watch, just look into the Seiko 5, uh, Seiko 5 line of watches, of course, you know. Uh, they have all sorts uh, of sporty watches, of dressed watches. And, um, you know, you don't have to spend a lot. That's the, that's the good thing about watch watches and watch collecting is that you don't have to spend a lot to have a lot of fun if you have a million dollar yeah buy uh, uh, Patek Philippe and if you if you don't if you have a hundred bucks yeah buy a Seiko 5 and just uh, enjoy your life you know and you can find enjoyment in, in um, at any price point that's the, the great thing uh, now if you have any questions about these watches if you want to see a, a full review of any of these watches please put it down in the comment uh, like the video if you if you've enjoyed it and uh, this ties up my uh, watch collection video uh, I hope you've uh, learned something maybe today and uh, I hope you've appreciate appreciated the tips that I gave you and uh, happy to answer any questions that you might have all right signing off bye bye